Happy Tutorial Tuesday, everyone. To help you on your journey to save this year, we've put together a tutorial on one way you can plan a budget. This information is for educational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice. There are many options and methods for planning a budget, but for this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the 50-30-20 rule. What is it, you ask? I'll show you. The 50-30-20 rule is a simple, practical rule of thumb for individuals who want a budget that's easy and usually effective. It offers guidelines for enjoying your income while putting savings on autopilot. The 50-30-20 rule states that your after-tax income should roughly be divided in three ways, 50% to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to long-term savings. People define their needs in vastly different ways, but there are several things we all can agree on. Housing, food, utilities, and transportation to name a few. Another necessity that may not jump to mind as quickly is insurance, be it life, auto, homeowners, or health. While the necessities are easy to agree on, wants are subjective and personal. A vacation Jack considers valuable, essential even, Jill finds frivolous and wasteful. The 50-30-20 rule encourages you to be clear about your wants, but don't beat yourself up over it. Give yourself permission, within a reasonable set of constraints, to spend some of your money on things that make your life enjoyable. Saving a little each paycheck can make things much easier when unexpected expenses come up, such as a medical emergency. Whether you follow the 50-30-20 rule or not, consider a goal of saving a portion of your income for emergencies and retirement. Having a separate savings account may make it less likely you'll withdraw your money for spontaneous reasons. Learn more about our types of savings accounts offered at CSB on our website. Like all budgeting methods, the 50-30-20 rule is not perfect and shouldn't be applied as defined to every budget. Saving 20% is a huge improvement for some, and for others, it's low. Adjust your budget as needed. If you don't think the 50-30-20 rule is right for you, that's okay. There are plenty of other methods, so you can find one that best suits your needs. While we hope you find this content useful, it is only intended to serve as a starting point. Nothing in this tutorial, nor in any associated resources, should be construed as financial or legal advice. Thank you for watching, and I hope this information was helpful. I'll see you all next week.